Hello everyone! I'm Jay Daniel, a grade 4 Spanish student of Assess. Our activity today is we are going to sew different kinds of buttons. The things that we are going to use are 5x5 cloth, different kinds of buttons, thread, scissors, and a needle. So come on! Let's start! First, weave the thread through the loop on the one end of the sewing needle. Make sure you tie the end of the thread. Two hole buttons. Flat buttons that have two small holes in the center to sew through. Coming from the underside of the fabric, and underneath the button, poke the threaded needle up through one of the two holes. Poke the needle down through the other hole from the top. Pull it until it's tight. Do it repeatedly, then tie the knot at the back when you're done. Button, bring the needle up to the top right hole first and then down to the bottom left hole. Continue to try and keep the holes with the button lined up with the cross. Essentially, you're creating an X shape through the holes. Do it repeatedly, then pull your thread tight to tie a knot. Finally, snip your thread close to the knot. that's typically made of plastic or metal and you use it to attach the button to the garment. Makes it great for jackets, coats, or other items made from heavy fabrics, fabrics but like wool. Secure the thread and bring the needle to the surface at the position of the button and bring it through the hole in the shank. Take the needle down through the fabric and back to the surface again. Repeat, making several stitches through the shank and the fabric. Once the threads are secure, fast enough. Snap button. So our snaps are ideal for closing a blouse or an opening that is narrow or just needs some extra closure. A blouse that gives a bit is very good option for a simple snap. So our snaps, sometimes called press studs, come in different sizes and colors and also metallic, plastic, and clear variety. The bigger snaps are used for heavier materials and the smaller snaps look more discreet on lightweight fabrics such as silk. All snaps come with two parts that snap together. One side of the snap is called the ball and has a little rounded knob sticking up. The other side is the socket and the ball fits the socket. Snap when they fit together. You connect and join up to fasten your garment. To soothe the snap button, Separate the halves of the snap and grab the ball side first. Start stitching with a knot or double back stitch that will lie under the snap. When you have done your first few stitches, move to the next hole by pushing the needle across through the top layer of fabric. In general, there are four holes around the edge of the snap. Now repeat for the socket side of the snap. Then, 
You're done. Button. Fasteners form of a metal hook inserted into a round eye or a straight eye. A very simple and secure method of fastening garments together. In addition to their application on dress ears, bust ears, corsets, and other fine lingerie, it is often sewn above the top of the zipper to finish. Commonly used to fasten the top of dresses, tops, skirts, and trousers above or instead of a zip fastening. You can sew it with, with small straight stitches on the round hooks. Sew the round loops securely with small blanket stitches. Go round the ring completely encircling it. Repeat it with the other loop. Pass the needle through the loop from the back to the front, leaving a big loop of the thread. Then, push the needle through the loop and pull it tight. This will create a small knot. Move over just a little and make another loop. Then, pass the needle through again. Continuing this is all the way around both loops. Tie a secure knot in the thread. Then use scissors to cut out 